Welcome to Dance Mogul Magazine. We are live in North Carolina. We are at the Elements Dance Convention. And can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Hello, Elements. This is Jared, Sir Dance Fuel. Okay. Now, I just wanted to say this before we get started with the interview. I wanted to thank you because thank you, thank you. for all of the, um, the years that we've been doing this magazine online, you have showed support to um, Dance Mogul Magazine when a lot of individuals were not willing to come out online and state that you understand, you know, what we were doing. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to let you know that, that we appreciated that, that you took a stand and, right. and for dance itself. Right. Right. And, um, you know, I, I'll never forget that. I, I, and, uh, I had to because when y'all reached out to me to do a little story about the underground dance, and I was like, yo, like, I nev I've never had that before. Like, people would reach out to me and say, yo, we want to do a story. So not only I, you know, took notice when y'all did the cover for me, but after that, I started paying attention. I was like, yo, this is a magazine and really it's putting on for us, many dancers. Yes. It's not a lot of people like that, you know, because dancers really, it's starting to become high demand, like the whole world is dancing. Yes. But not the whole world doesn't understand. Yes. That. And you got that's what the magazine is for. So I really appreciate that too. Yeah, that's that's and that's what we were hoping that everybody would would mm -hmm. see the vision, and right away, based on the things that you have posted, you mm -hmm. kind of let us know that that you under the, understand the vision. Oh, yeah. So fast forward many years later, now here we are together. Right. Whereas our first enc encounter, like you mentioned, was online. So who yeah. would have thought that right. you know this day would actually come? So kind of like fate and the universe brought us together. Right. Right. So I want to just talk to you about your role here today at the Elements Dance Convention, and then I want to talk to you about your relationship with Chuck okay. because you know the two go hand in hand. Right. So tell us what you're what you're doing today. Okay, my role here at Elements is really to, to not only uh, teach a, a, a workshop or master class, uh, but to educate dancers here. Because um, being that I'm from here and an innovator here. Um, branched out, travel here, travel there, and kind of put on. Um, now we're coming back to my home city, I'm like, yo, it's a beautiful city, you know, kind of like growing. Um, I was like, yo, I want something here, you know? So so that was kind of like confirmation, yeah? That something is finally here. I talked about it over and over and over and over again, and then someone, meaning Chuck, took notice, because he would come here. You know, I would work with him. He's like, Jerry, you're so dope. And I said, yeah, North Carolina is growing the market. So he wanted to see the North Carolina market. Um, and he uh, linked up with uh, Tom Hill. You know, it's another innovator here. And we, you know, lived here and understood that there was a growing market. So he tapped into it and he got the spark, you know, uh, sparked up the conversation. Hey, we need to bring something here. So we put the um, ball in motion and they really didn't cover the business side because it's a lot of stress. You know, I, yes. no, <laughs> but, yes, no, it's a lot. But being that the ball got rolling and started to see stuff happening, it was like, wow, it's really, it's like, it almost brings tears to your eye, yes. you know, you're the work and what you really um, wanted and asked for, straight from the heart and sincere. It's actually, it's actually here. Happened. Yeah, it's actually here, right, yes. right. So it's, a, it's an incredible feeling. Like when I was up there teaching, like my role, like, I, yeah, I knew it was gonna be a dope piece, but it's like I wanted to, yeah, it's, it's, I know it's kind of freaky, but it's almost like I wanted to leave my body and jump into all the dancers out there. Yeah, so that, that way they can feel the, the, the music, uh, the rhythm, yeah, everything that the, the song was saying. So educate them. So I was like, I want you to leave my body so that way you can get it, that you can get it, that you can get it, so they can learn, you know? Because a lot of people, a lot of dancers, they feel in, they feel, they uh, feed into the, the current stuff, and they yes. so fall into that and become a couple, you know, hey, mm -hmm. I can groove all day, but when you get into a, a class where it's a lot of musicality, uh, technicality behind it, like you're gonna have to condense. Like you can't just be in there. And, right. You hey, gotta know different, you have different, to know different, different yeah. movements. The, the movement. So, so that and that, that's why I, I want to to continue to happen here for uh, North Carolina, Charlotte area. Um, who knows what the, the the future will lead to me? Because I do want more. So that way I can come back and educate more. Because right now I don't want to leave. I don't. Me personally, don't want to stay at the same level. And I don't want my people that that's learning and you know, educating themselves to stay at the same level. Yes. So I still have to branch out and go get more so I can rise and then I turn around and be like, yo, come on, you know? Yeah, it's it's obvious to me that you're passionate, mm -hmm. you know, about what you're doing. But I just want to go back because I think this is important for, right, for, right, right. for young yes, people. When did you 
discover this passion that you've just been living out, you know, throughout your life like this? When did you first discover this with dance and the arts and, you know, wanting to help people? Oh, okay, okay. Um, ooh, so I got to think, think back. I think, um, when was it? And this, I know it was a situation that happened. Um, I think what it was is just an audition. I think I did an audition and I got told no. You know, and it was crazy because I did excellent, like I killed it. But it's not telling you that you didn't do good. It's just, you know, when you go to an audition, it's a casting. So they're looking for a certain person, a yes. part. You just didn't fit that part. So, and every time I get told no, it's like I want to keep learning, keep going. So that, because all those no's is really just building up to the biggest yes of your life. You know, and I constantly preach that. Like, when you get told no, you can't just sit there and be like, oh man, I'm, I'm I suck. I don't. I'm not a good dancer. No, those no's is a no for a reason. That part is not for you. God is saying, "Hey, this is not for you." So continue learning. Continue learning. Hey, you have something down the line bigger for you. So the 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 learning behind that, knowing that your imperfections can turn into perfections. Yeah. So when someone tells you no, okay, I'm not gonna sit there and know I gotta get up and learn and learn and learn. So that way, so that, that kind of like uh, reverse into me training and learning people. Or teaching people, I'm sorry, teaching people. Yeah, to, to know the difference in all the, the, the rhythms and music and different styles. Um, so you have, to, you have to study, you have to study. You can't, I don't think anybody can be on a level where it'd be like, hey, I learned everything yes. in the world. If you learn everything in the world, you might as well just die. And just put it like that. Everything is a constant education. You have to, the key to success is educating yourself. To keep growing, yes, mm -hmm. you're right about that. So now I want to ask you, as far as the future of mm -hmm. dance, I know you kind of briefly mentioned that you'd like to keep things growing in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. What would you like to um, see yourself doing, whether it's dancing with certain artists or just right. continuing to help grow the dance community here locally? Um, it's like it's like both. I really want to keep uh, helping the dance community here, and then also I want to go out and, and uh, work more, um, like. Uh, TV, film, commercial, behind artists on tour. Who are some of the artists that you would like to dance That for? I would like to dance for, for people that I've like watched and implicated or to imitated their moves. Um, got to, well, Janet, for one. It was, it was Michael Jackson first, but you know, fortunately he passed. Um, so from there, Janet Jackson, uh, Missy Elliott, of course, um, Amarion. Marion's another one, number one for me because I think it was his BT performance when he was by himself and solo. And I, like from that moment, I was like, yo, and I knew, I knew the whole choreography. choreography. And from there, I'm like, yo, I want to be a performer. Mm -hmm. So from that moment, I think that was 2003 ish, four ish, five ish. From that moment, I'm like, yo, I want to do this. So Marion, Missy Elliott, Janet Jackson, um, Sierra, um, all of them out there that's, that's, that's singing and dancing. And Chris Brown, of course, you know, I can never forget him. He's killing the game right now. Yes, he is. Yeah. That's, that's great, man. So, um, in closing, I just want you to talk about your relationship with Chuck and, okay. you know, just how that came about and, you know, you find yourself working together here today. Right. Well, my, my relationship with Chuck uh, spans back to the moment where Stomp the Yard, the movie Stomp the Yard was coming out. Um, and there was an audition for it. I got an email. Um, so I went down to Atlanta went in there uh, with an open mind, of course. Um, and I figured it was going to be stepping in because, you know, it was Stomp the Yard. So they had two different portions. They had the stepping and they had the dancing. So I did the dancing uh, section and I did the stepping. So I killed the dancing, of course, you know. Um, but it was my first time stepping. And it was a little bit of a challenge. So, um, you know, Chuck taught it. And I, I, did, I did feel defeated a little bit. But it didn't, it didn't, it kind of like um, resulted into me really boiling up a hunger to learn more so to learn actually different styles so when you know he was talking and then I found out he went he was like I'm actually from are you giving a background on him I'm from um, North Carolina um, moved to Atlanta and um, when he said North Carolina my eyes got big you know because he's from or I'm from North Carolina so I went to A&T I was like A&T oh so after that I went up to him introduced myself and I told him oh, I'm from North Carolina too he's like oh really yeah so we kept in contact so I followed him um, like literally, yeah. like everywhere he taught, I showed up in class. I remember one time he went to a, a matter of fact in my hometown, uh, close to my hometown uh, in Shelby, North Carolina. He was teaching in a big gym, kind of like here. Um, and he walks in, everybody taking pictures. Oh, hey, how you doing? He was, and I'm like standing ahead of him. He goes, "Who 
what are you doing here? He walks up to me and like, he stopped what are you doing? And everybody's like, oh. looking at me like, who's he? And he said, why, why are you here? Like, cause he, I'm always showing up in his class. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's where it took notice. We just kind of like built that relationship after that. So it kind of like took me in his wing um, and kind of like brought me up into the dance world with him. Cause when he would come here, I would work with him, uh, two week, eight hour well, rehearsals, um, everything. So um, he kind of like, Military style got me into the dance. Like mentor, yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah, definitely mentor yeah. for the uh, for the industry. Um, and to where we fast forward to where we are now, it's uh the the thing is building now. You know, yeah. um, he's really making a mark here in the Charlotte, uh, North Carolina area, and everybody's taking notice. And it's just from from the relationship stuff that we you know me and him have, because um, I'm from here, you know, and I've I've I, I feel like I, I'm an innovator here, you know wanting to, to build and train everybody up and to have someone like that of that power uh, in the dance world so it's like it's like crazy yeah, like, it's it feels crazy good feeling. it feels good for for all of this to, mm -hmm. to come mm -hmm. together the way that it has yes sir so in closing is there anyone that you'd like to thank that helps support you along your career oh man yo I think I for most I'd like to thank Chuck um, because you know he always told yo Jerry you're dope so just to hear that from him, it's crazy. Then uh, Darren Henson, um, I met him, you know, of course from Bye Bye, all that genie in the bottle, everything. I assisted him at a uh, dance convention and then hearing from him, yo, and later on, um, he asked me what I've been up to when I saw him um, out, and he goes, yo, I'm so proud of you. Like, to hear those words mm -hmm. from all those people that I look up to is crazy. And I like to thank Dance Mobile Magazine because I think it was from that story kind of like gave me, like I said, was gave, gave me a stepping stone, like, okay, I can do this, go ahead, step up. And, and then when everybody took notice of it, oh, Jerry got a story in that Dance Mobile Magazine, everybody started seeing, oh, who's Dance Mobile Magazine? Oh, Jerry's doing his thing, you know, being that he's from here. Um, so I like to thank you guys. Um, um, just everybody who, who supported me, who said, Jerry, you're dope, you, you know, because, uh, I mean, I, I know I'm good, but I, I wanted to be better, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I never like put myself on the pedestal. I was like, you know, I still stepping stones. Yeah. So everyone who's, who who um, who supported me. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We mm -hmm. appreciate you oh, yeah. so much because I know we all have a lot of work to get back to. Right. right. I know you're busy. So thank yes, you so much. Uh, thank you.